Setting up your CNC with Mach 3 can be very complicated, or at least it seems like it can be. I'm going to show you the least amount of effort to get it moving, no unnecessary steps, just the steps to get you moving. This setup is for the Chinese CNC, I have the 6090 behind me, with the USB in the back. But really any CNC will go along the same lines, you're just gonna have different directions and signal ports. If you find this video helpful, Make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a lot more CNC videos and troubleshooting guide coming this way. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make sure our native units up here under config, we're going to select native units, press OK, and we're going to make sure that it's inches. When you open Mach 3, you're going to see, well, this screen. You just got your system, and the first thing you're going to do is try to press some buttons, and nothing's going to work if you have the USB CNC. You're going to navigate over to this page, and you can download a USB motion driver. Just click it, download it, go over to the folder, cut it out, and then you're going to find your Mach 3 folder, which by default it's your C, Mach 3, and you're going to put it into the plugins. Get out of Mach 3. Open it up, and you're going to have a new option of an R&R motion controller. Now you can say, don't ask me this again, but I'm going to leave it as is, press okay. So the next part is going to be to configure the ports and pins. This tells your computer what it needs to, what it's communicating with. So you're going to have two, directions three, Y is four, direction five, Z is six, and direction is seven. And that's all you have to worry about this one. If one of your axes is going in the wrong direction, then you're going to change the direction low right here. So say your X is going to the left rather than the right, you're gonna click this and then it'll go to the right rather than the left. The next part we're going to look at is the input signal. Now there's a lot you can here, do here. We're not gonna touch any of them. We are just gonna do the E stop. So right now it's set to 110. We are gonna set the port to three and the pin signal or the pin number to one. And that's all we're gonna to touch in here. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to move the axes and it allows us to stop machine with the E staff. Now we're gonna to go to config, motor tuning and set up the motor. So we're gonna put these steps at 8129, the velocity at 100 and the acceleration at 50. If you have a manual, you were lucky enough to get a manual with your machine, follow what they've done and don't listen to what I'm saying, but we're going to press the save axis. We're going to go to Y, 8129, not that, 100, 50, 100, Try this one more time. 100, 50, save axis, Z, 8129, 100, 50, save axis. Okay, and that's all we need to get started. The next thing we're going to do is calibrate and make sure that these numbers are actually working. Now that Mach 3 is set up, we're going to check to make sure that the axis is moving in the right directions and up and down, and then the E stop works. So there's two ways to jog. One is to just press the buttons. Left, right, up, down, and then I'm on a laptop, so function up and down. But it really it's page up and page down. And now we're going to make sure that the E stop works. I'll drag this over a little bit. I'm just gonna jog it and then press the E stop. All right, so there we are good to go. Now that we have our CNC set up in Mach 3, what we're going to do is when we tell it to run inch, we wanna make sure that it runs one inch. We're going to do that with a 
pair of calipers, and I'll leave a link for the pair that I have in the description. Let's get started. We're going to head up up here to and click on MDI, which is manual data input. And from here, we'll be able to put in some programming so we can control it immediately. With the motor off, we are going to get the spindle into a nice, easy location. So right now we are reading about 0.8. We were gonna bring this to one inch and we can just do that with the dial. I'm actually going to bring it out a little bit further than it needs to go. There we go. And then I can bring it back. So it reads one inch. There we go, perfect. We're gonna zero our Y, that's what we'll work on first. We wanna do G zero, and then we're going to do Y one. And we'll check the measurement again. And we have two inches. We'll do it one more time. This time we're gonna do Y two. And that'll go to two. And this time it should read three inches since we started off at one inch. Three inches. So we're good with the first position. Now we can check the X axis. So to do that, we're gonna jog with just the arrow keys all the way to the edge. I'm gonna turn it off again, and we are at one inch exactly. We'll zero and just do X minus one. Since we're going in the negative direction. And this should read two. And it does, so I'm happy with that. Now finally, we are going to check the Z distance. So we will zero the Z. It is at one inch and then we'll travel, tell it to travel one inch in the negative direction. So we'll just do Z minus one. And we will check it again. And we are at basically two inches. I'm very happy with that. So that is done. Now, if for some reason your steps are not correctly programmed, there's a simple equation to be able to help. So the way you calculate it is the steps that you want to put into the program are the current steps that you have in Mach 3 times the program distance. So if you wanted to go, if you told it to go one inch, that would be the number you put up here. And then the distance traveled would be the measured distance. So if it only traveled 0.8 inches, then you would do your current steps times one inch divided by 0.8 inches. And you will have a very close new steps to put in there. At this point, your CNC should be moving and you should be ready for your first cuts. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. It really helps this channel grow so I can teach you more stuff. Thanks for watching.